How's it going, everybody? Want to make a video? Want to explain something to people about Vermont? Uh, hold on here. Our window was making some noise. Uh, the Vermont judicial system. Okay, this is how how uh, crooked these fuckers are about uh, their bonds and their money that they're making off of off of you when you're uh, institutionalized. Okay, it's all about money and it's about greed. Okay, these fuckers are so greedy. They charged me with a second and a subsequent charge, which means that I I did something bad twice, for those of you who don't know. Well, they gave me a second or subsequent charge without having been made or charged with a first charge. How can they give me a, a degree of severity when I've never been charged with a first charge, which means I've never violated whatever I violated a first time. So they went right past a misdemeanor charge right to a felony for me. No uh, due process whatsoever. No, we just don't like you, Mr. Chandler. We've had a hard-on for you for many years. We're just going to go past your misdemeanor charge, and we're going to fucking hammer you with a um, a, fe a felony charge. Not only that, it's a second degree. Um, it's a second degree. Not only that, we're going to find you unstable so that you can't um, bring us to court with a trial and uh, so I talked to my lawyer and I'm like so what makes you think that I am uh, I'm not worthy to stand or uh, competent to stand trial uh, I pay my taxes my taxes aren't uh, aren't delinquent they're uh, up to date I'm in good standing with my community I eat breakfast with uh, the select board from my town every day uh, I had lunch with the mayor of, of Sutton, Canada a couple weeks ago. So I must be crazy uh, to have you know, any kind of credentials or friends like that, right? So uh, my lawyer, I asked him, I said, so what makes you um, think that I'm incompetent? What have I ever said to you to, to believe that? We've only talked maybe 10 minutes tops in two years. Well, you said something about suing for thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's very outlandish. It is just, just crazy, 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 crazy. I'm like, really? Okay, well, you know, I got paperwork proving that I'm out all this money. And uh, it doesn't matter whether or not you like my story or not, or feel that it's true or not. I have a right to, to feel the way I want to feel and say what I want to say. And, and, and bring whoever I want to court for whatever I feel. So that, that deems me unfit to stand trial. So now I can't, not only did they violate my due process uh, without, by giving me a second or subsequent charge, they violated my due process by denying me my right to a trial. How's that for fucked up? Pretty fucked up, huh? Yeah, it's a it's a it's a review uh, 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 an abuse of uh, relief from abuse order from my sister from two years ago when she was trying to take the estate from me, and it was a third party report. It was her boyfriend that said that I said something, and for them to treat me so viciously and maliciously, I gotta wonder. I gotta wonder, what is the driving motive of this? There, it's gotta be money. It absolutely has to be money. That or it's a personal vendetta. So I got some work to do. I contacted the Department of Justice. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from them. I'm writing a letter to the judge. And I'm also reporting my lawyer to the local bar, Vermont Bar Association. I've told this man multiple times that I've never been charged with a first charge. He, he neglects, to, he's neglecting to even listen to me, let alone stand up for me in a court of law. And now he's um, coercing with the state's attorney to find me incompetent to stand trial because I'm gonna sue them all afterwards. So now it's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy to keep me in jail. It's a conspiracy to keep me um, from defending myself. It's a conspiracy to terminate every fucking right I've ever had constitutionally, civil liberties, all of it. That's how fucking nasty and dirty and grimy these fucking people are in Vermont. And to have a judge upholding this and, and uh, 
these people are getting paid fucking all kinds of fucking money to do this. This is bullshit. So I got to, I get to look at two years hanging over my fucking head for a felony charge that doesn't even exist. How's that for pretty fucked up? Any of you has been through anything like this, let me know. Uh, anybody's got any ideas or uh, any social justice warriors out there that uh, can think of anything else? You don't just deny somebody due process like that. You get a first charge. When you violate again, you get a second or subsequent. You don't just uh, get accused of violating once and go right to a fucking second or subsequent felony. That's fucked up. My kids are worried. My wife is worried. They think they're going to stick me in an institution. uh, Which I would not doubt at this point. They don't want me to lose. They don't want me to win this case. Because they know I'm going to fucking sue them for all the money I'm out. Which is literally hundreds of thousands of dollars. And if that makes me incompetent to stand trial because I want to seek monetary, uh, financial fucking compensation for what I've been through, that's fucked up. These people need to rot in hell. Yep. There are something. Something needs to be fucking done because that, that's wrong to do to somebody who's disabled. Uh, it's wrong to do to somebody who, uh, pays their taxes on time, has never been delinquent with any of his fucking bills. Uh, I've never had any problems at all, period, in the last fucking 20, 15 years. I've never been in trouble. And for my sister to pull shit like this after she reported me for selling narcotics to minors at schools, uh, called the state police, accused me of stealing dogs that were mine, (laughs) Uh, called my landlord, tried to get me kicked out of my apartment at the time. But she can do all that because she's got the power invested in her by the state of Vermont. Because she's a fucking girl. We'll see what happens. Two years ain't nothing. I can scrape it off the head of my dick. I did fucking ten years. Two years ain't nothing. I'll be out in six months. These fucking people need to get a grip. I'm paying these people to fuck me in the ass at this point. Don't move to Vermont, guys. If you can avoid it, if you can never fucking come here, don't even come to visit. Because you can get in an argument for two seconds, raise your voice, and wind up doing fucking three years in jail for something that they don't even fucking know. Accuse me of being uh, crazy for fucking wanting to seek uh, monetary uh, compensation for the money that I'm out. That makes me incompetent to stand trial? We'll see. Hope everybody's everybody's having a good day. Um, Don't come to Vermont. Vermont's the fucking pits. Everything's expensive. Cops are fucking punk, puke motherfuckers. State's attorneys and judges think that they just can fucking do whatever they want. We'll see what happens. We'll see see what the the government's got to say about it. Because next I'm going to the governor, and then I'm going to go to the attorney general's office. And I'm going to... I don't care either way. If I can cause them the hassles like they've costed me at this fucking point in time, I got nothing nothing to lose. Two years? <laughs> I laugh. I laugh at you. Take care, everybody.